The silver lining is that when these people go more hysterical and they believe in censorship and they believe in lies uh, and they believe in all the authoritarian uh, policies that you can possibly imagine, what it does is it takes good people, decent people, maybe who aren't completely driven by politics, who believe in other things, who enjoy life, whatever that means to them. Uh, and it creates very strange bedfellows in people. So I am very proud of the clip that I am about to show you here because when I was on Bill Maher's show about seven, eight months ago, I said to him, you gotta have Gutfeld on the show because I think you guys, first off, you're both late night comedians now. Gutfeld is now number one at late night. Gutfeld's a great dude. Obviously, Bill and I hit it off despite the differences. I said, you got to have him on. He said, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. And then uh, about two months later, I got a, a call from Bill's producer and he said, hey, can you connect us with Gutfeld? Well, Gutfeld was on Bill Maher's podcast on Sunday and here they are. Remember, one is on Fox News, right? Conservative, scary Fox News. And one is liberal Bill Maher. Here they are getting stoned and drunk talking about the brutal effects of cancel culture. You know, I watched uh, Rain Man again. I thought it held up pretty well. But yeah. again, you couldn't make it because like he says the R word a million times. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that kind of stuff. We're like in kindergarten now where we have to say pee pee and poo poo and yeah. R word. And well, Animal House. I think Animal House still holds up, but you can you could not do that movie, especially in oh. the in the nightclub scene. Oh. When you, do you mind if you, we dance with your dates? That whole thing would never happen. It would never happen. That's the first time I ever saw. Correct. But it's every movie. <laughs> it's every movie. Yeah. yeah. It's every, I mean, any movie made even 10 years ago. And there's something there that you, you, if you really examine who you are, you probably are not offended at all. We all laughed at this stuff and it wasn't terribly, we know what something's terribly offensive. But when you hear it now in 2023, you hunch up because you know, not because of it itself, but because you know the reaction it will cause. Yes. As trust me, that's the silver lining because that's how we beat this thing. We maybe don't beat it fully by politics. There are moments we can and, and DeSantis is doing that whole blueprint thing and all that, that's just fine. But we beat it with these strange alliances. Right, we beat it by by me and Mar being able to do our thing, by Gutfeld and Mar being able to do their thing. Whatever you're doing in your life to bridge those gaps, and if all of the same people keep doing that, the machine will get crazier and crazier. It'll always ramp up the crazy. Right, Joy Reid has no way to get out of the of the bottomless pit she has put herself into. Uh, uh, Chuck Scarborough can't get out. The machine will keep going. They're all in on it too deep. They, they, are, they have pushed it too far so they cannot come back, which is the damn shame because for the years that all of us were warning them, guys, could you just not lie about everything? Could you just not be so completely evil? You can be mostly evil, but not completely, but they couldn't listen. So what they are going to do is, and this is my hope, and I believe it can happen in 2024 at a political level, but it will first take the, it'll take the personal and cultural level first. We can have the most incredible alliance forming right now of those ex-libs and the libertarians and the conservatives and the religious people. And we can put together something under the banner of freedom. Yeah.